super early in the morning it is 5 42 we are off to the airport my flight actually leaves at 7 10 so i'm probably gonna get a wriggle on let's go we're back flying with virgin australia which is so good uh, definitely my preferred airline of choice uh it's a little bit early in the morning so bear with me if i'm struggling to be coherent um but yeah, super excited to get these vlogs back. I'm so glad because I know you guys are missing. I was meant to play last week, but she got gastro and COVID, so couldn't even do it. I was so flat about that. But yeah, it's good to be back. There's always stuff going on there. People missing flight, people missing connections. So it's good just to straight walk, walk straight through. Don't have to worry about any of it. That's us up there. So we're actually off to Brisbane first. So we've got a connecting flight with Virgin and then we're off to Darwin from Brisbane. But you know we've got to hit the airline line first. That's my favourite thing about flying Virgin. We always get this. Alright, this is what we're rocking with. We've got scrambled eggs and bacon. We've got some muesli, which we're going to be having with the uh, fruits, and we've got some nice virtue of muesli, cups, and then a muffin to finish off as well. Welcome aboard. It's got wonderful the to have you with us. So <coughs> At Virgin Australia, and your no health and safety us. come first, no so we appreciate you giving us your attention as we take you through. shorts on as usual and the prime hoodie as well but I'm not wearing that oily in the summer it's probably a call for me no, it's not me I'm racing I'm trying to get there come on we made it I was very nervous there a little bit especially because we we're like 10 hours delayed so I wasn't in there we're here Let's go get it. Darwin time, baby. I'm getting live. Hold it down, hold it down. Came up from the underground. How that sound? Get that sound good. Sounds good. How that sound? Get that sound good. Sounds good. 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 Get that sound good. You gotta eat before a game as much as you can. 24 hours before, eat as much as you can. That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna see if I can get some hydro light or something. It's what I need. Especially up here, it's like 32 degrees, it's so hot. There's no hydro light, so I'll go to like a pharmacy or something a bit later. So I've got myself a nice little Twix bar, which I will munch on. Like I said, eat as much food as you can before the game. Because you're gonna lose it all in sweat and all that sort of stuff. So I'll be eating up, get my Twix bar, I love Twix. All right, I'm on the way to find the Uber. It's so hot out here, I think it's a sip. Let's go. 
Just got out of the Uber and this is where we will be staying this weekend, the Darwin City Hotel. So I'm in a separate building. We've got a pool as well, which is good. Especially needed because I think the UV is like 12. And I'm pretty sure that the, okay, am I on the right level? No, next one. Pretty sure it's like 33 degrees. So that's good. That's what we need. Nice little pool. We're good to go. Pretty small. It's not as big as the other rooms, but it's good. It's perfect. It's got a TV. This is where I'll be chilling. Definitely not as big as the um, Palm City or the Palm Resort. But this one's still good. We're gonna go out for a kick with the uh, with the boys a bit later. For now, we're just gonna chill, put the aircon on, and relax. All right. So I don't know. You can't really see it, but my legs are like fully twitching. So like really bad. Um, it's probably from a massive training week, uh, pretty high volume, and then being sick last week, and then kind of just ramping back into full training, which is not the smartest idea, but. That's all right, so my body's struggling a little bit, so I'm gonna go off and get a massage just down the street uh, by Chillax Darwin, I think is what it's called. Uh, so I'll go in there and get a bit of a massage, but my legs are like fully twitching, dude. It's so bad. So I don't actually really know what it's from. I've been eating well, I've been drinking lots of water, but I have been training a lot, so let's go get this massage. <laughs> oh, that was late. My legs feel so much better. I definitely needed that. So I just got a 30 minute sports massage. I usually do that anyway. Like before, if you can't get a massage, then get like compression garments or something. That's definitely the way to go. A beautiful day out here. It's absolutely lovely. I'm gonna go, like I said before, go get some hydrolyte and stuff. Just go down the main strip, see what I can sort out. Let's go. Dude, I just went to Subway and literally, I said, oh, I'll just have two cookies. And then, because I was nice to the, the people working there, they're like, oh, it's all right, I'll give you a few more. I reckon they've given me about 20 cookies. Because I said I was good off to see the boys, see my teammates and stuff after. So they said, oh, we'll just give you these because I don't think we'll sell them today. So they just give me like 20 cookies. They're just so elite. So Hydrolite, got a foot long sub in the end. I might eat half tomorrow. And now I've got 20 cookies for the boys as well. What legends. We're out of here again, just gonna go kick the footy. We've got a whole heap of stuff in here, footy boots, um, hydrolyte, that sort of stuff, and cookies for the boys. Let's go. Oh, come on! Oh, boy. Look at those shorts, baby! Did you bring me any more? Or what? <laughs> nah, I didn't, bust, but I did bring you cookies. Me and the house man are going to get some set shots in the night before. You know how it is. Five each tomorrow? I reckon five each. Five kicks each. I'm gonna say five handballs. Five handballs. <laughs> Let's go. Definitely got to work on my set shot routine. Always working on it. How's your set shot routine going? Good? Actually, I haven't got one. But it's not a good thing, is it, lads? It's not a good thing. We are kicking them very well. It was good, wasn't that it? That was good. That was surprising. Hopefully, we, can take this Hopefully we take that into Survivor. We were kicking very nice though. We didn't miss many. I reckon we we're 80% clip almost. Almost, yeah. yeah. You know what? I hope that wasn't. <laughs> Shit, I hope, we have, I hope we haven't used them all today. <laughs> and we'll get none tomorrow. Here, hold this. I'll show them how it's done. All right, let's go. It's just, like this. it's just like this. Look at like this, boys and girls. It's so easy. Oh, dude. Just straighten them up. Prime train. Oh. We, great goal, great goal. Great goal. Great goal. <laughs> I think we'll count it. Yeah. If there was longer stick, it would have been. It would have been. Uh, might have hit the post. But we, we, we we'll, we'll take it as a goal. Look at this. This is beautiful. We're gonna try and find some Italian if we can. Do you know we love that Italian vibe? Not before the game. Urban Spice is packed. All these places are packed. Dude, this is good pick from you. We want Bella though. Bella. This is what we got for dinner. We've got some big pasta. I'm a Tristiana style. Gonna, oh yeah. We got the Marg. Oh, we got that. Oh, we got the half minute. Wait, can we look out the screen? Screen table? Stoxy! Guys, that is a wrap. I can hear the freaking music from the nightclubs here. I wonder if I can close the doors more. That is hopefully not going to be annoying. Ah, uh, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. 
all these vlogs so far. Uh, that's a wrap for Friday. We're gonna wake up nice and early in the morning for Saturday tomorrow and it's game day. Seven o'clock games are quite a late game, but uh, should be very, very exciting and hopefully we can get the chocolates. They've got a very, very good side. Promised to one of the best teams in the comp. So it should be very exciting. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Gee, I look worse wet, don't I? Clear the camera. Looking good. We're off. 7 a.m. We are off to the beach. Go for a quick swim in the morning, as I love to do. You know how it is. Let's go. Hey, what a fun locals, mate. Is it Rome? Mate. Down at the watering hole. Look at this. Yeah, what do you reckon? I don't know. <laughs> Look at this here. This is beautiful. Nice little morning swim. Might go to the water park. What? Woo. Top of the morning, baby. It's absolutely beautiful. What I love about GoPros, you can take them just about anywhere. Dude, GoPros are sick. This is nice as. What a day to start the morning. What a way to start the morning, is what I meant to say. Big horsey. <laughs> that was a wicked morning dip. Now, I uh, just have to wash my feet and then we will probably go get a coffee and some breakfast. Just got back to the room, starting my day off with a nice little coffee and almond latte. Um, I usually don't drink a coffee or any caffeine until I've been awake for about two hours because what actually happens when you wake up, you've got a chemical in your brain which makes you feel tired and then when you have a coffee or caffeine, uh, it blocks that feeling of feeling tired. So then after the caffeine's done in about five to six hours and you start feeling tired again, from that chemical that actually stays in your brain uh, and the rest of your body. So I'm gonna be having a coffee after about two hours, then I get some good clean energy throughout the day. Makes me feel so much better. Might have a shower now, and then uh, we'll keep pushing on with our day. It's game day, baby. Let's go. I shouldn't be swearing. I gotta stop swearing, man. Let's go. I'm so excited. Go for it. <laughs> no, that indigenous heart is the coolest thing ever. It's amazing. Feed for the morning. What have we got here? We've got a massive big breakfast. We've got a good looking potato rusty, soft poached eggs, bacon, chorizo. Apparently the beans are the way to go. You've got the same as well. And then a nice little treat. Great for whipped cream on it. <laughs> Smart. I need to eat. I need to eat. You've got nothing, mate. You're on the... I'm on the... What are you on? The what diet? I'm waiting for my food to smell my dish. All right, we finished our breakfast. Now we're gonna go into the indigenous art gallery. Let's we'll see what we've got. Look at this stuff, man. Oh my Imagine God. Being in the water, Bro, this can <laughs> Holy. <Grab your leg. laughs> do, you reckon, do you reckon you'd win in a fight against one of these or what? Yeah, I'm You reckon you'd win? <laughs> Which one? one? The big one. I reckon I'd take it. Left right, good night. This is incredible, dude. Dude, indigenous paintings and like indigenous art is the coolest art that you will ever find. Look at this here. Those dot paintings are incredible. Oh, I want my whole house to have indigenous paintings in it. This is incredible. Look at this. There's a tour going on over here. It's so cool. This stuff is incredible. Wow, that one's beautiful. I love the, yeah. The other ones I love. It's like, the heaps of colors. Wow. 
wow. The most amazing thing about all these paintings is that they actually like mean something. They talk about the waterways and the food and the animals. There's so much like information. Sometimes they're like maps. They're literally incredible. The coolest thing. Um, can you manage to find some? So he's worked with archaeologists to go back to the past. Let's go listen to this. So many old sketches and uh, documentation. He said that in one instance, what inspired this work was he went to a shed and some of the rocks were shrouded. They had material over them. Um, and he went in and he pulled the material off and he couldn't see anything. He thought, oh, that's quite strange. Um, but he said they were looking energy. Um, and understand things that other people don't. And what I love about wow. paints is that you get a sense of energy. Bit of hydrolytes, I reckon, before we, uh, what is it, 11 o'clock? 11.30? 12? 12, I reckon. It's almost 12. Bit of hydrolytes should do the trick. The boys want to copy me as well, I reckon. Keep some hydrolytes. Oh, no, I'm the only person that's ever done hydrolytes in history. In history. Now, this is what Hustle Art reckons is going to just go. Rebbies. Red man. Yeah, a bit of hydrolite. And then we should be off to play some table tennis where I dominate as usual. <laughs> so there's no table tennis, so I'm going to go bowling instead. I'll go here. First one. <laughs> Strike, baby. Strike. Who's next? Lima. Let's see what you got. Don't ignore me. <laughs> Come on. Let's see what you've got. This is gutter, gutter ball. Gutter ball. We finna lock it down. We the top boys in your city when we come around. I so no POP, tell them hold it down. We been dropping every month, we ain't slowing down. Nah, hey, sitting like a boss. Look at the boys rolling in. I remember, I think last time we played, yeah, last time we played here, pretty sure I had three bikes. Last time I played here, we played against Crocs, or what? Yeah, we got called off. We were fucking sniping people. Yeah, wheels, mate. Wheels. 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 I can't believe you. Wheels, you think fun. We have a little prick. Welcome back to another game day vlog. We are here at Kazali's Arena. The kids are running around having an absolute ball all the time. And like I said, we're back in Darwin. I've been away for a lot of time, but it's great to be back with my teammates. I'm very, very excited, as you can see here. Uh, it was a, what time was it? I think it was a 7 p.m. game. Um, and we always play for a cup uh, the second time that we play at Palmerston in the season. Good to see uh, Eddie Betts getting a bit of a ball at the start. My teammate and uh, bloke got flying with Liam Whelan got knocked out in the first minute of the game and then we lost him for the rest of the game. So a down run rotation, Palmerston take the lead against the wind and get the first goal of the game. Coco Nicky tries to uh, hit back and then I take a mark, what I thought was a mark here. And the umpire said, nah, play on. So I said, all right, we'll try to get a free kick through the back, fall over, and then I try to push it out. And how about this for a start? No, nah, no free kick and a free kick against for a legal disposal. Not sure about that, but anyway, and then I probably could have redeemed myself here, but I decide to drop the mark. Fantastic for me, great work. Didn't, I, I think I was a little bit jittery at the start, to be honest, like I just needed to take a deep breath and, um, and kind of, just feel like I was meant to be there because, like I said, it's probably been eight to nine weeks since I played a game of footy. Um, so it was a little bit slow to start. My boy Stafford, a new full forward, goes bang and kicks our first goal of the game and then kicks our second goal of the game as well. He's an absolute superstar. Um, he played a very, very good game. I'll leave that as we go. I'm playing kind of a half forward role. Stafford, he kicked the first three goals of the game. What an absolute beast. It's 18 to 7. We are with the wind in this first quarter, so we are rolling through very, very nicely as we go along. Like I said, uh, at Kazali's Arena, it's a fantastic deck. Finally got my first actual meaningful touch of the game. Making sure that I'm always flying for my marks and trying to take them in the hands as much as I can, but unfortunately, 
when things aren't going your way, they're just not going your way, I uh, turned the ball over. Not like it wasn't a terrible kick, it was to our advantage, but they just dropped back in the hole, unfortunately, and ends up getting it, which was no good. And again, I, I, I'm a little bit rushed, I think, with my kicks. Instead of giving me the handball and feeling a little bit more um, just like I was, I was ready to play. I don't know. I think that I was, uh, like I said, a little bit jittery. But as we roll through, Tommy Tux kicks our fourth goal of the game. And we are absolutely on top here. With the wind at quarter time, it's 25 to 13. We kick four goals, one. We kick two goals, one. And then we switch ends, of course. I'm just having a good chat with my mates here who's playing on me. They go bang. This Cam Pedersen who used to play for, um, for Melbourne. Kicked an absolutely massive goal. I tried to take a mark here, and then Staff misses the ball from the goal square. How did he miss that? But anyway, he he dominated for the game, so that was unfortunate that he missed that. But that's all right. We kept rolling through. This is a fantastic tackle, I thought, but it was unfortunately given as a high tackle. I think that. If you're having one of these games where you're just not quite in the game, they kick another goal here. You're just going to work your way into it and go back to what you're good at. So for me, it's running. Uh, so I kind of tried to go back to moving around and running and getting those high-intensity sprints up. And don't get in your head too much. You know, if you've had a bad start, it doesn't mean you're going to have a bad game. Just got to stay on at all times. So we get the ball forward here into the forward 50 and then um, they actually end up getting it out. How smooth, this bike is six foot five Stafford. He goes onto the right, sells some candy, to the left foot, kicks it straight to Collie. Again, I'm, I'm playing kind of that high half forward role, but we're kicking it over the high half forward a lot of the time. And I'm running back to be that kind of deep uh, forward that rolls behind the full forward, which is Stafford. The ball just got fancy, bouncing my way, unfortunately. You've got a little bit of pink in the hair as well. Uh, today, which is a bit of an interesting um, addition. Plenty of advice from the crowd, which I always enjoy. Uh, it's good to have the crowd always against you, but um, hopefully later on they'll, they'll be on my side. Bolsey uh, kicks it long here, and again, I just can't quite get my hands up, but Nikki goes bang with the Dustin Martin. How about that for a fend off? Stafford's kicking from like 50 metres out off two steps, and it goes straight through the middle. Folks, a genuine superstar. It's only his second game for the year, um, and he's, an, uh, like I said, an absolute superstar. Our tackle pressure was fantastic, and I think that, as well, if you can't quite get yourself into the game, then make sure that your tackle pressure is really, really high, um, and that your voice is really high. Your voice is so important. It's imperative that you have a lot of voice. At the half, it's 34 to 32. We're neck and neck with the Magpies. We both had a quarter going to the kicking end, I believe, uh, the windy end. We kicked five goals four, but we missed a lot of opportunities in this quarter to really um, consolidate our spot, I guess, um, in this match. My calves are so sore as well. So sore. I'm really struggling. I put a whole heap of deep heat on it. You do get pretty sore from the travel, and then also, I did a massive session this week on the track, which was not smart. If you don't run on track during the season, that's all I'm gonna say. If you're gonna go for a run, uh, run on grass, not on the track. How cool is that little transition to start the second half as the ball goes up? Pedersen was absolutely dominant in the ruck. He, he's a superstar, obviously, ex-AFL, so probably, um, Fair enough that he is ex-AFL, like that he's dominating and look at that kick, it's just superb. Luckily they missed that goal. And I'm playing deep forward now. And I probably could have gone for this ball, but I left it for Stafford. And this is kind of when I said to myself, let's just go and try and get my hands to as much of the footy as possible. Just go for it. Doesn't matter where the ball is or who's in your way. <laughs> and then I was a bit overzealous at give away a free kick. So I've literally played probably the worst half of the half a footy that I've played a long time. Go back with the fly here, which was good, and finally get something that falls my way. Took a grab, which was very nice. Felt like Jonathan Brown going back with the fly like that. Honestly, if you're going back with the fly, like if you run fast and they're standing still, you're gonna come off better than they will. I can assure you that much for free. So if you go hard at the ball, you're more likely to get it and you're more likely to not get 
hurt as well. So just go for it um, and you'll be good to go. Unfortunately, after I kicked my first goal of the game, they hit straight back with one, which was, um, which was all right. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about work rate. I actually don't get the ball here at all, but this is what I mean when I say work rate. This is how you get yourself into the game. You're running left, right. You keep trying to get yourself into the game. And you can see that my opponent here is really starting to lag now. He's starting to get sick of me running. And if you're a defender, think about it. Or if you're playing as a forward, think about playing as a defender and how annoying it would be if your forward's always moving and running around. Like, it's so annoying. Um, so make sure that you're always running around as a forward. Unfortunately, Staff, he's kicked five goals in the first half and um, now he's missed one here and he, he, he forgets his kicking shoes in the second half, unfortunately. But that's all right. We're still up by two, halfway through the third. And our tackle pressure is elite. Uh, here, Coco goes over to me. Nice little easy snag there, which was good. Uh, so that's my second goal of, I said sorry, I said oh, I probably should have, I could have left it, but I've seen so many of those balls do a right turn or a left turn and just like go the wrong way. Um, and again, just playing your role, making sure you make a contest if you're there. Um, and like I said, our tackle pressure was amazing. And how good is this from Timmy Eldridge? Couple of soccer's and then just goes hard at it, gets it again, takes a bounce from the pocket, unfortunately misses, but it could have been goal of the year. <laughs> I hope I've uh, commentated that very well, but could have been goal of the year. Bolsey was fantastic, this bloke here, absolutely uh, played a really good game. Sometimes you don't need to take possession of the ball, you just need to tap it to your teammate's advantage, and then you will reap the rewards. Um, I think we got a holding free kick here, which was very, very good. I gave it to Timmy and then wanted it back here and wanted my third goal of the quarter. Go for it and it just slid. And I'm not happy with myself at all. I'm very, very frustrated there because I should have goaled that and I hate when I get an opportunity on goal and I don't take it. It's very, very annoying. Anyway, we're up. 51 to 45. Again, Stafford unfortunately misses. Uh, handy point though, because we went up by seven, but then Palmerston hit back with another behind. So it is 52 to 46 at the third change. And basically the message was to just go out as hard as possible and, um, and take it probably to that next gear in that last quarter, because I think that we had a little bit more left in the tank. Again, just making sure that you're making a contest as much as you can. If you make a contest against two people, then you have a high chance of one of your blokes staying down and getting it back. Holtz fits to Tux, Tommy Tux, who goes bang, and he's very happy with it. The double chest pump, which we absolutely love to see from the brother. Um, as you can see, I'm not moving very well. Uh, having probably 10 weeks off has not been good, but still trying to just make a contest, see what I could do. If you're a defender, don't spoil it here because Jared Stokes, probably one of the best players in the competition, will be around the goals and will kick him if he gets a chance. So he goes bang and that puts us up by a couple of goals, um, which is really, really nice. It's 64 to 46 and we're rolling through. And our defenders were just like, this is Eddie here, he's like dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Could have, could have easily got a goal here, but our defenders were just dogged, man. They were really, really good. Have a little shot there, and it was fantastic. Our defenders were really, really good all game, which is um, a testament to them. They're, they're fantastic at, at what they do, and um, we couldn't do what we do as forwards without them. It's interesting listening to the crowd. Like I said, they weren't on my side before, and now I've got a whole heap of people <laughs> yelling and screaming, which is... Um, it's super nice. It's great that uh, the kids are coming out to the footy. I dogged this guy here. I could have given it a fist. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, my brother. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but yeah, we, we're keeping rolling through here, which is fantastic. A fantastic touch on the line there by Tanner. Very, very good. Again, you can see I'm not moving very well at all. I'm very keen to get some recovery in this week and be ready to go for next week. Um, get the ball here. I actually was trying to center this, I swear. And um, it's come off the side of my boot. Genuinely, I was trying to center that. I swear, I promise on my life, I was trying to center it. Um, but anyway, ended up kicking it behind, which is no good. 
Hus goes along to me here, easy mark. Uh, and it's, it's at that time at the end of the game where you just need to relax and take your full 30. Um, I was never going to go for a goal from him. End up kicking it over to McBean, who takes the mark, which is very good for him. He can go back and have a shot, takes his full 30, goes for a goal. Everybody runs underneath it, and there I am just standing at the back, off the back. Oh, God. If you, you shouldn't let that happen as a defender. You should not let that happen. Anyway, we roll through. I kick my third of the game, which is very, very pleasing uh, considering how terrible my first half was. Like I said, do not get caught up in having a bad first half. I said sorry to McBean here for stealing your goal. But like I said, do not get caught up in having a bad half or a bad quarter or doing one bad thing. The footy is a great game because you always have a second and third chance to go again. I went for goal here, but it didn't actually make a distance. If you actually rewind it back, this um, Holt Fitz got absolutely close-handed um, there by that number eight, or number six, I don't know what number it is. Anyway, that was no good. Um, easy one to finish off, just uh, a free kick for, it probably could have been a block out even against me. But anyway, got a, uh, got a kick in. That was nice because I didn't get many kicks this game. But anyway, we finished off. The siren goes and we are victorious. And that's a very, very important game. We sit now in fourth. We've only played 12 games. A lot of other teams have played a lot more. I'll let you listen to the song. <laughs> Everyone's here. Good stuff. We love it. Get around the clubs. It's good to see everyone together having a beer. No. Oh, what a day. 11-14. Rack it up. Our fly doesn't leave to what? One? Oh, come on, mate. Don't look at me like that. I'm going yeah, to get cancelled. I'm going to get cancelled, mate. Uh, I, keep, I say it all the time. Um, yeah. Flight doesn't leave for two hours, so what are we what are we gonna do for the next two hours, Pendles? Sleep. I can't sleep just anywhere. I'm just here with the bags, look for park. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Why are you here? You're leaving Darwin, mate. Checked it? I haven't. Oh, home on what? What are we home on, Qantas? Come on. I tell you who loves the camera, Pendlebury. I tell you who hates the camera. Um, um, that looks terrible, bro. <laughs> Good luck. Probably so hard, so late. Food on the way. We'll see how that goes. We've still got some of these. So good.
ladies and gents, that is an absolute wrap. I'm off two hours sleep, so I'm probably looking absolutely fantastic right now. It is 7 a.m. in the morning, 7.08. We're back at the whip. We're about to go home. It is absolutely pouring in rain, pouring in, bro, I can't even speak. It's pouring rain here in Melbourne. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep, and then I've got a big day of recovery today. So I'm gonna go to some thermal springs and uh, some ice bars and that sort of stuff as well. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos and these vlogs. I really, really appreciate it. You guys have been amazing um, with your support and everything. So thank you so much for that. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff. Comment, of course. But yeah, thank you so much for being involved and um, let's keep smashing it. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic 2023. Keep working hard in your training and all that sort of stuff as well. Stay sexy.